Hi there. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to set up a Microsoft SQL Server Database API in Dream Factory. This is the Dream Factory Admin Dashboard. In the Services tab is where you'll find all the APIs that you have created. To create our SQL Server API, we'll first navigate to the Services tab. Then open the Create menu on the left. On the Services type dropdown, hover over Database and select SQL Server. Then name your API. For this demonstration, we'll call it SQL Server Video. Avoid capital letters, numbers, or spaces since the namespace is part of the request URI structure. The description and label are just for sorting within the platform, so we'll label it as SQL Server Video and set its description as SQL Server Video. Before moving on, make sure that the Active button option has been turned on, and then you can click on Next. Most services in Dream Factory will have this configuration panel. Under Host, we're just going to fill out a pre-existing SQL Server database and fill in the default port number, database number, username, and password. That's all the required info you need to fill out this form before testing your database connection. Let's click on Save and Continue. Here in the corner, we see the notification alerting us of our new API. We are able to see the API within seconds of saving it. Our SQL Server database has been restified in an instant, saving us months of time and labor. To test our new service, head to the API Docs tab and select our new SQL Server database API. All of these endpoints and service definitions are live. If you want to run a delete, a put, a post, or a patch, it will directly influence your data. For now, we're just going to run a get function. If you scroll all the way down, you can browse some of the logical filters that you can apply to your requested URI. We'll just put in our city's table at the bottom and click Execute. Then you should receive a 200 code and your response body. And that's it. In just minutes, we have created a REST API from a SQL Server database. Congratulations, you now have a SQL Server database API. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.